Welcome back to the morning blend. Our next guest is a health and fitness pro and he says he has unlocked the key to clean eating and losing weight. Dr. Ian Smith just released clean and lean 30 foods 30 days a new you and he is here now with a way for you to lose up to 15 pounds in about a month and he's here to break it down for you what you should eat and what you should avoid. Great to see you. Thanks for having me as always. So you've written is it more than 15 books? Yeah, this is 17. Seven, your yeah. 17th book. Yeah. So what's different about this one. So this book basically is clean eating meets intermittent fasting. So it takes two independently good programs that work effectively by themselves and it combines them for really great results. You mentioned already up to 15 pounds in 30 days. And the reason why people are losing so much weight is because the plan is simple. I mean, it really is a simple, affordable, accessible plan. So many plans, by the way, are restrictive or they ask you to do extreme things or they're expensive. And I purposely made clean and lean so that everyone can do it, whether you're trying to lose 10 pounds or 50 pounds, whether you're a busy state, a, a busy mom with, you know, running around or whether you're, you know, a lawyer, you can make this work for you. It's very flexible, very customizable. Everybody can fit it into their lifestyle. Yes. So you, you brought up intermittent fasting and you're talking about clean eating. I feel like there's so many buzzwords. Yeah. It's like, what's the deal? Yeah. People want to know what's the right plan. And keto is keto. Huge, yeah. huge right now, which is so, short for ketosis. Yes. So what in your in all your research and looking at this, what how, how is this to fit into all those buzzwords and terms? Yeah, so keto and IF, intermittent fasting, clean eating, all very trendy right now. So let's start with clean eating. Clean eating, in my definition, is basically eating foods as close as they come either out of the ground, off the tree, or walking around the pasture. It's reducing the amount of processed ingredients, all those synthetic chemicals, all those names you can't read in the back of a label, those are processed ingredients. They help a product stay on the shelf longer, they change the color, the texture, the taste. Those are things we're trying to do without because manufacturers put them in because we want them, we're addicted to them. and so. Clean eating says, hey, eat foods as close to nature as possible. Intermittent fasting basically says that you're gonna have periods of eating with periods of fasting. This is not starvation. People see the words intermittent fasting, think, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna eat, no, and no. And it's not fasting for a week no, or three days. No, no. It's just doing it sort of like yeah. daily. On a daily basis, you have a feeding window or a fueling window where you eat all of your food and clean and lean, you have three meals and three snacks. So you eat it during your feeding window and then during your fasting window, you don't eat any food, but you can have coffee, black coffee with a splash of uh, organic milk, herbal tea or water. But the key is you got to respect the fast because during your fast, because you don't have any food calories, your body will go to your fat, which is a storage form of energy and break down your fat uh, for energy. So that's intermittent fasting. And then there's keto. So keto basically is very few carbs, if any at all, because your body wants to use carbs for energy. So keto says we're going to eat lots of fat and the body can actually convert fat that you eat and that you store into an energy form, ketone bodies. So it's called, you know, it's a state of ketosis. And that's why you burn fat. That's why you burn the, fat the because you're- Ketosis. That's right, your, 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 your fat becomes your energy source because you're not having those carbs. Okay. The body wants carbs. That's the number one fuel for your body. So it preferentially will burn that yes. first. Yes, and, and then most. It, and, and then it will go to your fat. But if you don't have carbs, what is it gonna do? It goes to your fat. But the difficulty of ketosis, and the reason why I'm not a big keto diet guy is number one, you do get results, by the way, but the results are not sustainable because you can't eat that way for the long period of time. It's a very difficult way to eat fat and heavy protein. It also puts you at risk for heart disease in the long term. I mean, any cardiologist will tell you that foods high in these types of fats is going to have some impact down the road. Maybe not in the short term, but in the long term it will. And the other part of, of, of keto I don't like is once you stop it, you gain it all the way back. Yeah. You know, you got to stay in there. And that's true. I think of any fad diet mm -hmm. um, that you that you try because it's uh, hard to maintain. Yes. You you put the weight back on it and relatively rapidly too. So break down real quick things in the clean and re lean rules. What things to yes. avoid or not yes. eat or drink. So you want to avoid fried foods. Um, you're allowed to have dairy. Uh, if you like dairy, you're allowed to have uh, canned and frozen fruits and vegetables as long as they're frozen or canned in the original juices or low sodium or in water. Um, you cannot have white flour, uh, high glycemic index, and also you know processed uh, very heavily. So you could have bread if it's 100% whole, whole grain. 100% whole grain or whole wheat. Okay. Um, and you can't have alcohol. Now, that's kind of with an asterisk. If you want to have alcohol, you should have it within your feeding window. Don't have it during your fasting time, 
but have it within your feeding window. But there are a lot of rules on clean and lean. It's extremely flexible. And it's um, not calorie counting. It's no it calorie counting like whatsoever. And you know, I tell people all the time, it's also about the recipes. Try to make recipes at home. The book has recipes, but we have a great Facebook group that people should join at home. It's called Cleaner Get Leaner. So Cleaner Get Leaner is our Facebook group. Join it because we have 26,000 people who are doing it together, sharing exercises um, and sharing recipes. And exercise is a part of it, but it's very um, a tolerable exercise. And very. It's not an hour in the gym. Not at all. 30 minutes or less, you can do it right at home in your living room. The book breaks it down from basic or beginner to intermediate to advanced, so it's very... Uh, adaptable to where you are and meet you where you are. That's what Clean Lean is all about. I like that. Congratulations on this new book and the Thank success. You. It's wonderful to think that people can lose 15 pounds or up to 15 pounds in 30 days, especially because it's not a fad diet That's where right. you're completely restricting a food group. So That's here's right. how you can join in. Dr. Ian Smith dot com is the website on you have a Facebook group that you just mentioned too. it's cleaner get leaner you can visit that on Facebook and also find out more about his latest book wonderful to see you always gonna be with you thank you so much appreciate right. it